Hey everyone, and welcome back to BMX News. We are live for BMX News. I do this every Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, where we talk about everything that happened in the previous week within the world of BMX that I think you guys might care about. We do it live. Tyler O'Neill, childhood riding friend in the chat. What's up, dude? We got all kinds of people in the chat. Chief, uh, I think that's Mike, Viridian Island, Travis Keir, Kevin Jackson, Eric Stahl, David Van Vle, JDA is in the chat. Where's Travis Schramm? What the hell? Cole Grove. But uh, anyways, so we got a lot of stuff to talk about that happened in this past week in BMX, starting with the rest of the X Games stuff. I talked a little bit about it last week because a couple things happened by the time I talked on Friday last week. But since then, we've had some more of the events that, or the rest of the events that happened. We got BMX Street Highlights. We've got Dave Mira. BMX best trick or BMX park best trick highlights and uh, also where to go I had the results here I'll get it and then we also have all of the results here that you can find so if you're wondering yo JDA with the five dollar super chat thank you direct support helping make this happen even easier so first of all check out the results for street we had Devin Smiley in third, Felix Prangenberg in second, and Garrett Reynolds in first with his 15th X Games gold medal. Holy hell. So right now, Garrett Reynolds is tied with Sean White for most X Games gold medals of anyone. The scene's not dead. Finally changed his YouTube channel name. Good job, Noah. Uh... Stuart Gibson, yo, John Penn's in here as well. So that was BMX Street, and it was pretty cool to see Garrett uh, win his 15th gold. I feel like Sean White has like a, he's only one or, no, he's tied with Sean White for X Games golds. Maybe total medals, he's a couple away. But either way, it happened and sick. Then Park, <clears throat> who won Park? Dennis got third, Justin Dowell got second, and Logan Martin got first. Logan Martin's run in Park was like exactly what you expect from Logan Martin. And also, he just landed perfectly on every transition. When I was watching the gold medal winning runs, every single trick he did, every time he went in the air, he landed perfectly on the transition. It was like... Almost mesmerizing to see. Justin Dowell sending it as well, doing more than just bar spins and tail whips, and obviously Dennis Anderson doing more, more than just bars and tail whips. Then we have Dave Mira Park BMX Best Trick. Jeremy Malak got third, Kevin Peraza got second, and Mike Varga got first. So the tricks behind these were Jeremy Malat did a fly out flare to fakey half cab flare back into the quarter which is incredible in its own right kevin peraza did a flare whip to fakey over the uh spine ramp in there or spine it was a double coping spine making it even wilder then mike varga did a 900 bar catch bar in one air it's freaking crazy all three of those tricks are wild uh, back onto the Garrett and Sean White thing. Yeah, Sean White won a gold, I think, in skate vert one year. And Garrett's are all from, I think, BMX Street. It's pretty crazy, honestly. And I think that if Garrett was more, like, into being as big of a superstar as Sean White is, he might have the same amount of recognition but Sean White is just a household name. So moving on from there, we have Battle of the Brands 3 and the riding edits that came from it. So we have riding edits from Fly, s and Fast and Loose, and BSD. On Fly, we had Courage Adams, Sergio Leos, Josh Dove, and Alicio Tenali filmed and edited by Rich Forn. Then for SM, we had Mike Hoder, Kareem Williams, Ari Levinson, 
filmed by Charlie Crumlish. And we got Fast and Loose with Corey Walsh, Jason Watts, Chris Fox, and Lil John, filmed by Josh Clemens, followed by BSD with Reed Stark, Denim Cox, Knowing Noah Hutzinger, filmed by Trent Lutsk. And what I have to say about this is that hands down, I think BSD had the best riding edit. It was so good. The fly one had a lot of amazing riding and the filming was great to it, but it just felt like there was like something missing from it. I think it was like a personality element because it was literally just strictly riding and then some random weird like ritualistic thing that was going on that had nothing to do with riding and there was nobody in the video riding with the face paint they were putting on or anything like that. So it just felt like it was like a superficial kind of deal or maybe it was subjective or maybe it had meaning behind it and i don't know i just didn't get it and it felt like something was missing then we got s and m's which was arguably just as fun as the bsd one and there was a lot going on in there but the bsd one man they just had the personality they had the behind the scenes they had the people who are in the video being themselves in the video with the writing and it just brought it all together. It was also the longest at over 20 minutes. It was just really, really good. I don't know how else to put it. They, it feels like they represented what happened and who they are very well. And then the uh, fast and loose one was like a writing edit of all of the stuff that I saw in the challenges edit. I didn't get to see the other challenge edits from the other companies, but the Fast and Loose one had a lot of really great writing in it as well. So then, moving on from there, we get into the videos from this week, starting shortest, going to the longest. First up, we've got a video from Profile with Mark Mulville at the Walker Woods called Summer of 2022. It's just under two minutes, and it's Mulville shredding the trails, so for anyone who wants to watch a trails video, this is going to be one to check out. Then we've got King of Candyland Part 1 from Sabrosa. I believe what happened is that this jam that they had got rained out partway through and they got done with the younger kids sections of the jam, so they put that into this video. Yeah, it says despite getting rained out, the 12 and under class and and other stuff they're working on setting up another date for it so stay tuned for that if you're in florida there will be another or the follow-up king of Candyland to crown the king next up we got a video from animal bikes with ethan Gro growth growth it's called for the birds and this one's just over two minutes long and this is definitely an animal video the vibe to it the song the riding it's just Raw street riding is how I would describe this, and this guy definitely has a animal riding style. Then we got one for the Flatland folks out there. There's a little bit less riding in here because there's a lot of talking, but it's called Breathe with Terry Adams, and he's talking about his the fact that he found meditation and then just doing what he can to help himself ride as good and as long as possible in life in just over two minutes it's a pretty good listen and i think that he's definitely onto something with that and if you want to watch a flatland video this is the one to check out it's funny all of these videos are different styles as we're going through here next up we've got clint miller's 48th birthday session where clint legit makes like a, a video part in one day with this video at the age of 48 you could play this to someone who knows nothing about bmx and unless you saw like Clint as a younger dude and then you see him now to tell he's aged a little bit you would never be able to tell that he's almost 50 from the way he rides absolutely killer video oh uh also I guess I'm supposed to say if you push like on the video more people will come into the live stream that's a real thing Next up, we've got the Entity BMX Shop Summer Lovin' Jam 2022 highlights. Looks like they uh, put a whole bunch of balloons in a bowl for this, actually. You know what? Let's click through I didn't get a chance to watch this one. Oh, my gosh. Check that out. That would be, like, scary but fun at the same time. That's rad. 
So uh, check that one out if you want to check it out. Check it out if you want to check it out. There you go. Yeah, what I was going to say about Clint's video is that it was a lip trick centered video, technical riding followed by or following the animal raw street riding that was following a tr uh, damn, I did that in the wrong order. Clint's lip trick video, then Flatland, then we had the raw street riding, and then there was trails before that. It's pretty sick. And then this skate park jam. Then we've got the dub BSD jam at the loading bay, which there was a lot of rails and grinding stuff going on in this one at the loading bay. You can see this is where Alex Donicky does a lot of crazy stuff. More street plaza style-ish skate park, so that's different too. Then here we go. It just it's all different. There's freaking Rumble in Richmond round two video that's uh, 11 minutes long. Very well put together, uh, filmed by Stuten, Stuten, Stu Johnson. I can't talk today. I'm sorry. Stu Johnson in Latin, Latin Coghill. I'm sorry. Edited by Kenny Horton. And uh, this is a really good representation of the weekend as a whole because it showed the ladies jam, the kids jam, plus them riding this gigantic dirt jump and going crazy. So there's another different thing Mulville's video was trails this is just a giant dirt jump pretty awesome then we've got another longer video yet at 17 minutes this is ends footwear dawn on with rakis artega spreet and trent lux veach oh there's a name right here tyler veach god i'm dumb man this is bad this is all bad i'm sorry for this train wreck but anyway 17 minutes of these guys shredding the streets so check that one out this is also kind of a different style too where it's like this type of street riding in a controlled street environment equals plaza riding well there you go then a full-length video from gt on youtube called can you film this Featuring, do we have a list? Okay, we've got Chelsea Wolf, Dylan Leeper, Duda, Penzo, Gustavo Balaluca, James Jones, Jeff Birdie, Julian Molina, Mason Ritter, Michael Dixon, Omar Rios, Parker Heath, Raddy Matty, Shane Leeper, Sullivan, that last name, I'm sorry, Sven, that last name, Tristan Cooper, Albert Mercado, Brian Kaczynski, Dan Conway, Leandro Moriera, Mad Mike, and Tate Roskelly. What a freaking lineup in this video. And it's 55 minutes long almost. If you need a much longer video this week, this is the one to check out. Next up, Radio Bikes 2022 Complete Bikes Promo. That is the one product related thing that we had to talk about this week. So it's everything from the 14 to the 20 inch and the pro level comrade, something for everyone. Maybe we'll check those out in another video at some point. Then we've got a video bike check with Devin Smiley from Fly Bikes, followed by Ride On Talks to Mark Noble. This is, uh, please tell me there's a description here says we're stoked to be bringing back our series of original interviews with bmx people know who matter this is the full story of invert ride magazine and factory media we chat about we chat to mark about his beginnings in bmx his first foray into journalism launching both invert and ride uk how he came to sell the company in 2006 we also discuss his latest photo book project that has been universally praised by all corners of BMX. Did Gustavo get a part? I don't know. I haven't had a chance to check that one out yet. Uh, I also want to throw in here after this, we'll pull that up, but Mark Noble's emulsion photo book. So there's some questions about that as well. I'll toss that into the description after the video and if you guys aren't doing anything at 6 p.m. Eastern tonight, The Scene's Not Dead, who is present in the chat right now, finally changed his YouTube name from Noah McBride to The Scene's Not Dead. 
has a video called How Do You Manage That? A BMX Trip to Skatopia that is going to be premiering at 6 p.m. So if you want to check that one out, it will be linked in the description down below. With that being said, I clearly need to eat some breakfast here or something, get my head on straight. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you to the members in the chat for showing up and supporting the channel directly. John Penn, JDA. Also, thank you to everyone who tuned in to watch this week. And we will see you tomorrow for another video. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you then. Goodbye.